It's been seven days since I've been uploading YouTube videos every single day. This video is part of my 29 days, 29 challenges to let go of my perfectionist mindset. I'm going to document myself daily challenging my comfort zone. And hopefully to inspire some of you to do the same. So yeah, that's the goal of this 29 days, 29 challenges. And I'm honestly just proud about myself proud of putting less effort in into every no it's not I'm not putting less effort into every single video I'm putting more effort into every single video but I stopped procrastinating and re-watching the videos to make it perfect and this time I'm just trying my best trying the best with the with the situation I am and uh, with all the opportunities I have and the videos actually turned out much better than I've expected because they came much more from my heart from my creativity process no it's the things I say are more genuine than if I script out everything, like this video right now. I'm just describing and uh, trying to explain my feelings with this challenge I have. And it really helped because I finally stopped putting in so much pressure on myself to make every single word perfect, even the pronunciation, because I'm not a native English person, so speaking in English is not always easy. And that kind of... Uh, how can I say, it normalized itself. I, I'm much more fluent, I'm much more natural also in front of the camera and really enjoying it. I've been doing different challenges over these last seven days. Five hour workout challenge, which I think I, that's the video I'm most proud of since I've started creating videos. Nothing turned out the way I wanted to, but I still managed to, to do the challenge. Maybe not in five hours, a bit longer, but I gave it everything. But also the other challenges. I have to admit, I did a mistake with that one rep max test because my shoulder is in heavy pain right now. And actually tomorrow uh, is going to be, yeah, a challenge which is going to put a lot of pressure onto my shoulder. I hope, I hope I can survive it. I'll see, but my rotator cuff, yeah, I think the bench, it's not the bench press itself, I think the shoulder press, um, my form on the shoulder press wasn't the best over the last couple of weeks and that turned into an injury in my shoulders. I tried to recover it over the last two weeks but it, it didn't seem that it did too well but we'll see. Still putting in 120% into these videos but coming back to the perfectionist mindset, I'm just grateful honestly just grateful how, how sometimes you just need to set yourself some deadlines some challenges and that helps you to get out of your comfort zone try to progress to that next level I reckon and it worked out it worked out in my way I don't know what the audience will think but comment down below what you think about those last six challenges I'm honest here as well I want to get monetized by the end of this month that is a uh, big goal with all these challenges, putting in all my efforts, trying to make this, I guess, YouTube career work. It's a very lonely path. It's it's not repetitive. It, it takes up a lot of energy because you want to get as creative as possible. You are, I mean, the YouTube creator path, I reckon, that combines a lot of different, different aspects and skills. You can't see just by watching this video. I mean, first of all, planning out the videos, then you need to set up these camera angles. Then, I mean, if you saw these last videos, you saw I had to plan out every single shot and clip I wanted to in advance so I can plan ahead. If you don't go into the video creation process or in the filming process without a proper plan, you end up, you end up not getting the shots you want to. And that's what I, that's, that's one, part of the job then so the scripting writing titles thumbnails then the whole filming part as well I mean it's you who is speaking in front of that camera you who needs to set up the camera settings and at the end you have to edit all these videos upload it on YouTube find out the strategy on how to distribute it over dif different channels I'm not so far with sponsorships and stuff like that but I'm just enjoying it at the moment I'm it's so many different skills I'm learning throughout this and I really want to make this work. So that's why I'm putting in so much effort, even though, yeah, my sleep isn't uh, the best at the moment. I came back, when was it? Yesterday around afternoon 
time back to Switzerland. Unpacked everything, washed everything and really wanted to keep going with this challenge. So it's a lot. I think uh, if, you, if you're watching this video, I mean, every seventh day is going to be a video where I do kind of a recap of the week and see how things progress. And that's kind of my rest day because editing the other videos takes me about, what is it, seven, seven hours? I think the five hour workout challenge took me about eight hours, I think. So you need to film all the content, edit all that. I'm, I'm glad that I planned out every single video in January before, not every single video, actually most of the videos, let's define it like that. Pre-planned all of them, created the thumbnail, so I don't have to worry about that part. Now it's just about creating, editing, creating, editing. I'm trying my best and I really hope that you're enjoying these challenges and I hope my shoulders survive, survive these next, what is it, 20, two days which are left. Honestly tell me in the comment sections down below what do you think about this and how does it affect you? Does it help you? Does you does it inspire you to to kind of get rid of your perfectionism as well? Because that's a part which I think a lot of people struggle with a lot. And sometimes you just need to put in not more effort. It's more like putting more pressure on other sides with deadlines on yourself so you actually level up on that creative process. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very good lately. I closed the chapter kind of in the UK. Five months, did my semester abroad there. I'll see where this future is going to lead me because I don't have a real plan at the moment. It's just creating, creating and creating content on this platform. I am very lucky that the, that the weather is playing in my favor. It doesn't look too bad even though it's February. I, I still can't understand why I decided to do so many fitness challenges <laughs> in the month of February, but that is an additional challenge, especially with those camera batteries and everything. <laughs> a lot of talking, I reckon. Let's see how many, eight minutes long at the moment. If I cut down, it's gonna be probably shorter, but more real, more, more honest, more transparent with what is going on behind the scenes of those uh, 29 days, 29 challenges. And I really hope that these videos give you a spark in your day, brighten up your day, give you a smile as well and just inspire you as well to, to challenge yourself daily. Make sure you watch yesterday's challenge right up here and I'll see you guys tomorrow.